Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. Book 2 has finally come out, so let's just jump right into it. Man, am I excited. I hope there's a recap. Hush, baby, hush. Rest your head on your pillow, little one. You'll be home with Ma soon. I've missed you, my child. I've missed you here, in the deep, in the dark, in the cold. Come to me, my sweet little Kian. Home. Home. How is he, Na'ane? Will he live? Your magic brought him back from the darkness. My magic helped him stay. But the fight is his alone now. He must choose to live. Hush, Kia, hush. Rest your head on the pillow. You will soon be home. In the deep, in the dark. Why don't we keep him alive? He's the enemy. The fever eat him up. No, Liko. We brought him here for a reason. We need him alive. You freed me, Kian Alvane. Don't blame yourself for my death. This is what I wanted. To be free. To be reborn. Feel every twist of my blade as your life drains away. Your pain and shame and dishonor will serve as my vengeance. And I will be there to witness your soul departing for the nether realms, for the shadow and the deep, dark, cold water. They can only protect you for so long, Apostle. In the end, you will have to face your sins. And you will pay for them. Sleep, my child. Sleep and never wake up. We're waiting for you. All of us. We're waiting in the deep. In the dark. Join us here. There's nothing for you out there. You belong here with Amar. In the deep, dark, cold. Forever and ever. I must go. He'll wake soon. Make sure he drinks water and eats. He will recover. The only wounds I cannot heal are on the inside. He must heal those himself. Wake up, Kian. Wake up. Wake up! Where in Shadow's name am I? Okay, so the last time we saw Keon was during the, uh, the jail escape, right? He made it to, I think it was the top of the tower, and then... What did I choose to do? Didn't I choose to kill my friend, because he, he told me to, and that was like the trigger t to open up uh, a portal or, or something like that. I remember, I think the last thing was him falling through a portal. And that portal was opened by somebody as a, as a means of escape. Like, the whole point of that, that jailbreak was basically to get me out because I think somebody believed I was special or, or something like that. They wanted me freed. At least, that's what I remember. Goals updated. Where am I? Investigate the Enclave. Hmm. Do you, does Keon have a journal? It appears he does not. Oh, 
Oh, hey, look at that place. Does that look familiar at all? The longest journey? I remember that place. That was, um... I don't remember the name of the town it was um, in or next to, but... I remember that's a place with, like, the dragon's head coming down through the, the roof that you can see, and when you traveled down there, there was a, a library. Down there, I remember looking for the books. After all, he's our enemy. He murdered Raven. I hear he defected. The Apostle's one of us now. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Seems not everybody trusts me. Shit, he's here. What if he heard what- Shh! They're waiting for you out in the main hall. Most gambled on the fever taking you. I want quite a few iron pieces, to be honest. Well, I'm glad you bet on my life. Is it true that Captain Bakim sacrificed his life to free you from Friar's Keep? He was a good man. I hope it was worth it. Yeah, me too. So, I suppose it'd be rude to just go rooting around in other people's <laughs> personal belongings. By the way, did I mention I really like the animations? Look at the animations. I just want to turn in circles for the entire game. Trader is back on his feet. Praise the balance. How are your wounds? My wounds are not fully healed. They've dressed them and seen to me while I've been feverish. They must know I'm still weak. This has to be a test. I won't answer their questions until I know who they are and what they want with me. I'm in some pain, but my wounds are healing. What is this place? Hoping to run back to your masters with the information and buy your life back? Liko. You are in the Enclave, the ancient library of the Sentinel Order of the Balance in Mercuria. It serves as our base of operations. Our? The Resistance Alvani. Those who have come together to fight the Azadi. Magicals like her and me. I remember. Mercuria, that's the name of this place. The portal. Blood magic. The shadow has cursed me. The goddess will not touch me again, and will never walk the slopes of the first mountain. The captain. I murdered him. His blood is on my hands. No, I didn't murder him. He wanted me to kill him. He wanted me to. That's not murder. The portal. You used blood magic to bring me here. You care more about your afterlife than you do about the man who saved your life. You're truly unworthy of his sacrifice. Balsai Bakin laid down his life for yours, Kian. Why? Believe me, I've asked the same question. Why? Why lose a great man like Bakin over you? A butcher, an apostle! Fucking Azadi. He insults my people. They have committed crimes, yes, but the responsibility lies with our leaders, not with every Azadi. We are not all the same, Dolmari. Perhaps. But then my people all look the same to you, do they not? We are livestock. I've turned my back on my people. So you're also a traitor, Kian Alvani. We'll add it to your list of crimes. I will not let anyone, least of all a Dalmari, speak to me in this way. What did you say? You are a traitor. You have the blood of countless magicals on your hands. And it will never wash off. What's to stop me from shedding your blood as well? 
I'd like to see you try, Ghazi. No one's trying anything. Liko, stand down. Kian, please understand the sacrifices that were made in order to bring you here. I didn't ask for those sacrifices. And yet, they were made. Kian, we chose you. We sent Captain Bakim to his death in exchange for your life. We need you. As a symbol. But also so much more. We need strength, we need leadership, we need hope. Our numbers are dwindling. Most Northlanders have come to terms with the Azadi occupation. Humans are turning their backs on the resistance and a blind eye to the genocide of magicals. We need someone to give us hope so that we can fight back and win. You're a tool, Apostle. A blunt weapon, nothing more. We need your help, Kian. Will you join us? Do I have a choice? There is always choice. And for every choice, there are consequences. You can't let me leave. If I refuse, you'll kill me. We might kill you anyway. Just give me a reason. We have sacrificed so much to bring you here. This is your chance for a new beginning, Kian. A new life. For the redemption I know you seek. You know, I was just about to say pretty much what Kian said. Do I really have a choice? I was thinking I didn't, but apparently I actually do. And it probably actually has real consequences. Alright. I'm going to join them, but before I do that, I want to see what everybody else chose. I can never be one of them. But what choice is there? I have no nation, no faith. No mission. What does it matter that their resistance is not mine? And by fighting my people, I might save my people. Indeed. Let them lock me up, throw away the key, let them kill me. I will never be one of them. Okay, maybe I turned off the display to say, to, to look at how many people chose which option. That does seem like something I would do. So I guess I can't look at that, which is fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna join them. What would you have me do? You will go into the city tonight, with Liko and Enu. They will give you instructions, and they will keep an eye on you to... to make sure. To help, if needed. I'll be watching from the shadows, Apostle. A poison arrow pointing straight to your chest. You know our cause is true. You know that your people are in the wrong. Do this, and begin your journey back to life. I'm doing this for April Ryan. She was the one who made me question myself. My mission. My faith. Fuck you, Kazi. There is nothing you can do to repay that debt. April is dead, Kian. Do this instead for all those who still live. Do this for the soul of your people. Do this for yourself. The boat will take you to Shady Quay in Old Town. I will let you know when things are ready. After you're done with your mission, we'll meet up at Ulvik's Tavern. And if you don't show, we'll hunt you down and skin you like a rabbit. You may find I'm not a rabbit. Try me, please. Liko. Enough. Oh, well, good thing Liko left. Makes this much more pleasant. Preparations are still being made for this evening. You should use the opportunity to speak with the others and familiarize yourself with the Enclave. Yeah, let's go check this place out. Oh wait, there's Liko. Let's say hi. Of course, he's sharpening his so blade. The apostle has finally risen. Shame the fever didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. No matter the circumstances, I will never let anyone speak to me in that way. There's no point in talking to him. He doesn't even hear anything I say. Leave me be, Dolmari. I will not abide. 
Apostle, you're a Zadi. Sooner or later I will spill your blood. Just like you have spilled the blood of my people for generations. Like you, I'm from the West. From the great continent we call Antigua Abba. Land of the setting sun. The place your people call Mihadbir. And then Azadir. As though through occupation you came to possess it. You are of the Azad Dolmari tribes. I am of the Dol Antigua. The Western Dolmari. First of my people. And yes, we have met before. Apostle Alvani. I don't think he's lying. But where could we have met? I didn't spend much time in the Northlands before being thrown in the keep, and the only Dolmari I met in Azadir were condemned prisoners, and those I fought in battle. None of them ever lived to see another day. Where did we meet? You murdered my father in front of me. If it hadn't been for my mother holding me back, I would have torn your throat out, and then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards, but I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all, what's another filthy magical? You made me who I am today, and someday soon, I will unmake you. But I swore to Shepard that I'd set my private grievances aside. For now, unlike you, I keep my oaths. But if I ever suspect you plan to betray us like you betrayed your own, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. And once this war is over, we'll settle our accounts. You will pay for my father's death, my mother's grief, and my people's suffering. Mark my words, Butcher. Your days are counted. The light of the Goddess. Okay, I had no idea I killed his father. I don't blame him for hating me. He... he is never going to forgive me. Talk to the other rebels. <laughs> There's a rebel named Once Blind Bob. That sounds familiar. Once Blind Bob? Wasn't there something in Dreamfall? In Marjuria? Um... Some blind or something. I don't. That sounds familiar. Our water tanks are running dangerously low, and I smell no rain on the wind. You'll need to go up to the rock tonight to fill the barrels. Take Anik with you, and Ina also. They've both been begging for a mission. She'll keep guard while the two of you hoist the barrels. I'm told our baskets are empty, save for that awful flatbread. He looks a poor so breakfast wreaks havoc on morale. We'll need another crate of beer bread from Har- Whoa, what the hell just Arvani. happened? Soldier, apostle, assassin. Oh, I expected someone taller. Ah, never you mind. Welcome to the movement for the liberation of Mercuria and the Northlands. Welcome to the bloody resistance! How's your back, eh? The herbs helped. Aye, she knows her stuff, our Zidmari medic. And she was concerned for you. Sat with you until your fever passed. Never left your side. I'd say she was sweet on you, but... It wasn't even that. It was like she... Like she was paying back a debt. I'm the general, me. I run this place. You got a problem with logic sticks, you come to me. Your bunk ain't soft enough or hard enough, the general's your man. Not happy with your rations? Call on the general. Maybe that stuff ain't as important as intercepting communiques or assassinating a zaddy, but this place don't run itself either. Got any questions, soldier? 
I'm really curious what a logic stick is. But apparently I can't ask that, so have we met before? I have a feeling I've seen this man before. He wasn't wearing a uniform and he wasn't a general, but his voice and his face. Do I know you from somewhere? Well, I can't imagine you would, unless you're from around here, and you're clearly not. In my former life, I didn't have much contact with the Azadi, outside of bars and card tables. And you don't look like you visit either of them very often. In my new life, I've been mostly stationed here, at headquarters. We don't see a lot of Azadi visitors. Perhaps in Mercuria? No, I don't see how we could have met there. You must have me confused with someone else. Carry on, laddie. Oh! And make us proud, damn it! The Resistance. A year ago I fought them. Today, I'm one of them. What are you planning? Are you planning on turning the Sentinel? Why would I be as obvious playing? as turning the Sentinel? I don't recognize That's the game. a fool's move. I don't know. You're a woman? Oh, shut your trap and play your Istrian. Don't pressure me. I need to think. Right, that's this game, bugger, then. Just do what you normally do and push the pieces around until you lose. <laughs> quiet. I need quiet. I know exactly which move I'd be making now. A young what are you going to do, Asak? No, don't tell me. I there think were I know. some in Azadir, but they were hunted like animals. Ah, oh, this game would be over so quickly if I was in Elmer's seat. You... Hello. Hi. So, new guy, huh? I'm Enu. Actually, it's Enumar, Sandhya, Twilight Child, daughter of Teomar, and... And my father would kill me if he knew I used just Enu instead of my full name like a proper zid, but he's not around. So, hey, I'm Enu. You're Kian. I can stay silent? Why would I want to? I know I need to learn to speak with these people. With magicals. I just wish I didn't find her so distasteful. Ugh. Let's not go with the racist option. I can't not speak with these... these people, now that I'm supposed to be part of their resistance. The girl deserves a response. So, Kian obviously has a deeply ingrained uh, dislike of magicals. I am. Great, hello! Azadi, huh? That's... Yeah, great. I've never been. Is it nice? I hear it's nice when they're not, you know, waging war and murdering magicals. <laughs> uh... This is all she knows of Azadir. Maybe that's not so surprising. How would someone who's not from there know the truth? These people only see the actions of a conquering army led by criminals. It's my responsibility to ensure that our story is told in full. You think that's all we do? Oh, no, obviously there's, um, things I don't know, I just... We don't get to socialize with Azadi very often. The ones I meet wear armor and carry swords and shout a lot. Also, they kill Zid. So, uh, maybe I'm biased? Anyway, I, um... I just wanted to, you know, present myself for you. Introduce myself to you, not present myself. That's just that. <laughs> not appropriate, daughter of Teomar. Ugh. Sorry, I'm screwing this up, aren't I? It's okay. She's trying her best. Despite her prejudices, despite how the Azadi, how we have treated her and her people, she's willing to give me a chance. You're doing fine. It's an honor to meet you, Enuma Sandhya. Twilight child, daughter of Teyama. Oh, wow. The same, Kian Alvane, apostle of the Azadi, son of, um... It's just Kian now. You can call me Kian. Okay. K. Can I call you K? You can call me Kian. Oh, yeah, that, that's much, much better. Kian. Welcome to the Resistance, Kian. Sorry about Liko. He has issues. We have a history, he and I. Oh, uh, okay. History. Got it. Won't pry. 
I'm trying to cut back on the prying. So, what's your story, daughter of... Oh, just Enu. No one calls me daughter of blah blah here. And my story is totally unexciting. <laughs> the opposite of exciting? Boring? Dull? Humdrum! That's the word. I'm a humdrum farm girl. Was. Was a farm girl. And hey, now I'm a rebel. Go figure! Never saw that one coming. Well, that's not entirely true. At least my parents don't totally disapprove. They'd be happier if I stayed put and out of trouble. Married a boring zid farmer, had little boring farm zidlings. But they are proud of me. They believe in the cause. And they totally hate the Azadi. Sorry. You have good reasons for hating us. Yeah, well... I'm not sure I can go back there when this is all over. To the farm, I mean. I like fighting for something. I like having a purpose other than... Farming, being a loyal daughter, a zidling breeder. Clearly. I really wouldn't make a good zidwife. I'd be the worst. I'm sorry, this is way too much information. I was just gonna say hello and then blah, so, um, hello. And hey, good luck out there tonight. Well, oh, I'm gonna be there with you, but anyway, there it is. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh, the, the writing is so good, and I love that the, the voice actor, what she did there. It was very um, naturalistic to, to an awkward degree. I mean, she's obviously supposed to be somebody who's, who's nervous and awkward, and she nailed that perfectly. It just felt completely natural. That was wonderful. Interesting creatures. He's looking a little blue. They're a scruffy lot, these rebels. How can they really expect to win against my people? That one looks better dressed than most of the other rebels. He doesn't quite fit in. Hoi, Avane Dar. It's an honor seeing your eyes. Are my eyes that pretty? Dar is an honorific in Azadir, and Hoi a common greeting. He must have had interactions with Azadi, or studied the language and culture. Who taught you the proper Azadi form of address? Oh, I, um, I, I, I did business with your peep with the Azadi for several years. Until my aunt's tavern was shut down and she was arrested. U until I learned what was really happening. You took part in that raid. At the Journeyman Inn. Benrim Salmin is my mother's sister. Sh she raised me after my mother died. I, uh, I, I took her surname. I'm Jackai. Jackai Selmin. Ah, I remember her in the inn. I was following orders when I arrested his aunt, but that doesn't absolve me of responsibility. I arrested his aunt, but apologizing won't do anything to change that. Your aunt was harboring rebels. I was under orders to arrest her. I'm sorry for what happened to her. Your aunt is a strong and honorable woman. Oh, I, I don't blame you, Dar. Neither does my aunt. In fact, it was her idea to break you out. She knows you'll be an asset to us. You know, I only joined the resistance less than a year ago. Before that, I was a businessman, and my customers were mostly Azadi. He obviously wants to tell me his story. I should let him. It was good business. I, uh... I profited from the occupation. I made a lot of money. It shames me to admit it now, but I actually believed in the Azadi. What they were saying made sense. Even... even the things they say about magicals. For a while, I blamed them for everything. I even went so far as to join the National Front for Faith and Family. Do you know who they are? Azadi collaborators. Anti-magical crusaders. Turncoats. I'm not proud of that. 
But then, when my aunt was detained and sentenced to five years in Cold Stone, it, it changed everything. Opened my eyes. I realized it wasn't the Magicals who were at fault. It was the Azadi. It was us. Those of us who didn't speak up or, or take action. Those of us who'd betrayed our own. I sought out the resistance. And now here I am. With all these brave people, like... Like Anu. Oh, she's great, isn't she? I'm really impressed with how she... Uh, how she holds up. Boy, the Zid are really striking people. So pretty. Anyway, that's my story. It's quite a story. Isn't it, though? I'm glad to have you with us, Dar. It'll make a huge difference. You have my support. I should be getting ready for tonight. Of course, Alvan Adar. Kian. I'm sorry for going on and on. Good luck out there. He seems to have a thing for... Enu. Do you think I can set them up? Huh? Get your mission from Shepard. Oh. Hold on. I want to see if I can set them up. Come back, Inu. Mind your pick. Ah, oh, I can't talk to her. Are you ready, Kia? I am. Good. Liko and Enu are joining you. They will tell you what you need to do tonight. Okay, I'm kind of awkwardly close. <laughs> I'm kind of invading her personal space. I'm sorry, I can't move. How do they expect me to enter the city and not be recognized, even at night? If any Azadi sees me, they'll sound the alarm in an instant. How do you expect me to walk around unseen? Any Azadi will recognize me in an instant. Of course. That's why our Zidmari sorceress made this especially for you. Magic. There's no escaping it here. If you want to help us, I'm afraid you must drink it. A Bakshivan masking potion? Not quite, but a good guess. A masking potion would last for less than an hour. This is a Nirhardian veil. It remains potent for days. It, it makes all but the trained eyes slide off you. Unless I speak to anyone, the guards won't even notice me. I'll be like a shadow to them. It's a very potent and very costly magic. Not easy to come by. You know your potions. When I trained to become an apostle, I was required to learn magic. Know your enemy. I'm sure that will serve you well. Drink it before you step ashore, and the veil will conceal you. But be cautious still. Don't speak to any Azadi guards or sympathizers. Don't attract attention. And remember that those who know you intimately can always see through the veil. Liko and Enu are waiting for you down the stairs, in the hidden harbor. But you can't go into Mercuria looking like that. You'll need to get dressed. I've left some clothes on your bed. I trust they will fit you well. That was a very awkward conversation. And do I really have to get dressed? But I'm so damn sexy, I just want to show off my abs. Okay. What do you think the Asadi are- Are you looking for anything? Your room is right down the hall. Good luck later tonight, Apostle. Uh, Alvani. Uh, Kian. Sir, uh, uh, what do we call you? Just call me K. Special K. They've left fresh clothes out for me. Question is, will they fit? Apparently they do. Actually looks really good. Change clothes before meeting Enu and Liko by the water. Okay, so we need to go downstairs. If we keep losing people without winning any ground against the Azadi, I mean, what's the fucking point? Someone needs to fight. For how long? Until there are none of us left. Until everyone else has stopped caring. The Magicals care. 
They'll be shipped out, all of them, before we get around to actually doing anything. And then what's the point? I don't know. But we can't just give up, right? Right. Sounds like the Rebels are losing hope. They don't have enough numbers to take on the Azadi. I don't know if we can do something about that. I mean, like, what do they hope to do? I'm a sim you know, a symbol of... of someone who's defected from the Azadi. And I can certainly lead them, but I'm just one person. Truth be told, they may not look like much and they don't have the resources. But they won't give up until the Azadi are gone, or their resistance is dead. Take a little bit more of a look around before I go downstairs. What is she reading? <laughs> There's no words on the page. Maybe it uh, requires a magical's special eyes to read. The Resistance. A year ago I fought them. Today, I'm one of them. Some lovely art on the walls, by the way. And that looks familiar. I believe I saw those things in The Longest Journey. Uh, there's one area I want to check out before I go down. Where was it? Right... Oh, no, that just leads back where I came from. Okay, yeah, it's time to go down. Ugh. Best of luck on your mission. You couldn't ask for better companions than Liko and Enno. Seasick? What? Oh, I just want to know if you're going to get all pukey on us, that's all. I have been on a boat before. Good. Then I don't mind sitting next to you. We've wasted enough time. We need to leave. I'll tell you about the mission once we're on our way. After you, Kian. Split up. There's much to do, and we don't want to arouse suspicion. Maybe some instructions first? As I said on the boat we were just on minutes ago, Kian has three tasks. I'm hoping your memory is better than the Zid's apostle. Liko talked about a large shipment of weapons that must be destroyed. There's a shipment that needs to be destroyed. We've been informed that crates with weapons have arrived from Azadir. Muskets, cannons, gunpowder. They'll move the shipment to the tower barracks in the morning, but for now, it sits just outside the south gates. You need to destroy it, preferably in a way that gets their attention. We want the Azadi off balance and spooked. Basically, as much noise and fire as possible. Think big explosion. That sounds like fun. There's a traitor in their midst. I need to identify this person before he or she can cause more harm. I'll be looking for a turncoat in Old Town. Right. Unfortunately, that's all we know. Someone in Old Town spying for the Azadi. He... Or she! <sighs> probably frequents the magic ghetto, but he... Uh, she... must be human, or they could not be working with the Azadi. We also believe they attend National Front meetings. National fronters are traitors, Azadi collaborators. Their leader, Honor Hillaris, holds regular secret meetings somewhere in the city. 
That's probably our best chance of identifying the traitor. Sneak into one of those meetings and identify our guy. Girl. Uh, woman. Person? I'll begin my investigations in the market. I'm supposed to visit someone called The Mole. A code name. This powerful man runs the criminal underworld in Old Town. Where can I find this man they call The Mole? Oh, it's not the a- The Mole's burrow is right here in Shady Quay, Kian. Ah, right. Yes, Kian, you will find The Mole close by. He is close by this, this man who is called The Mole. Who is a human man, obviously. God save us from zidlings and their lack of subtleties. <laughs> The Mole operates an underground supply network out of the Magic Ghetto. We need food, medicine, and arms. And so we need to maintain, uh, good relations. Whatever the Mole asks of you, do it. Without questions. It's time to get started. I'm ready. You're on your own now. Enu and I have other assignments tonight. Once you've identified the turncoat, I'll meet you in the Magic Market. It's not far from here. Follow this street into Old Town. Afterwards, we'll meet up at the Cock and Puss. The Rooster and Kitten. <laughs> it's a tavern on I Reed Avenue. They renamed right it. Right off the Southgate Market. Ulvik, the publican, is a friend of the Resistance. I'm sure it's all very confusing right now, Kiam, but there are maps everywhere. You can't get lost. Well, you can probably get lost. Are you going to get lost? I'll find my way, Anu. Right, good luck, big guy. Guys, both of you die. <laughs> oh my god, she's adorable. <laughs> Goddess, forgive me for this. Hmm. Hmm. That tastes pretty good, to be honest. Hmm. Unless I make myself noticed, or meet someone who knows me well, I'll remain veiled. Okay, so don't talk to people, right? Because if I talk to them, then they might be able to see through? See through my disguise. All right. See, so yeah, I think they either renamed that bar the... What was it called? It was something like... It was a very, very sexual-sounding bar that popped up in... Or, or tavern, rather. That popped up in the original Dreamfall. Like the cock and pussy or something. Or, I don't know, something really, really lewd. So they either renamed it or we're just going to meet somewhere else. I don't know, but I'm going to look for the sign. That's not it. Ah, yep, there's the optional thing. You made a promise to Arn, St Arn Stunt. Seek out his family in the bones. So that's the guy very early on, uh, when I was escaping in the last chapter. When I was escaping from prison, that was the guy that was... Uh, I believe he was, he was injured and he wanted me to kill him. Put him out of his misery. And he wanted me to go tell his family. So I definitely want to do that. Because I made a promise. So many rats here. Is this place, like, diseased, infested? I mean, what's going on here? There I am on the dock. Old Town is close by, the bones are further away. What about the south gate? Hmm, it's quite a bit to this place. Old Town. Avenue south- oh, south gate is... That's D? Yeah, so it's D. Oh, I see it. Oh yeah, I remember the south gate from, uh, The Longest Journey. I think it was from The Longest Journey, wasn't it? Mercuria? Or at least from Dreamfall. One of the two I remember it from. I wonder if we'll get to talk to some... some old pirate and his parrot. Or, no, wait. It wasn't a parrot. It was Crow. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old, the old pirate guy in The Longest Journey. That wasn't a parrot, was it? That was Crow. That's how you actually got Crow. I think. It's been so long since I played it. A couple years. Which I guess really isn't that long, but it's a long time for me. 
The mole's expecting you. You'll wait your turn in the back. Don't speak unless spoken to. And no funny business. Alright? Okay. Shifty character. You know what? I bet the mole is literally a mole person. Remember the mole people from The Longest Journey? What do you bet it is actually a mole person? I bet it is. It is merely an unfortunate side effect, Madam Mole. I I don't expect unfortunate side effect. Is lot more than unfortunate side effect. Is mud riddled catastrophe is what is. Everyone in bar sleep. Everyone who drink wine close eyes and start snore. Not good for business. Well, yes, we put too much of the poppy stem in the mix. I blame the. Don't care. Responsibility on you. You cause disaster. You fix disaster. Poppy stem only to make wine more good, give spice, make more people buy wine. This, this make people not buy wine. This make people sleep and not drink any more wine. Make people buy other wine. This is bad thing, not good thing. Bad, bad thing. So, you fix. How you will fix? Oh, well, see, that's the problem. We've we've run out of poppy stem. It all... it went into that one shipment. Earth, save us from you lot. Without poppy stem, our wine just wine. Nothing extra. No spice. Very well. You get Eden Song from City Green. It grow there. Goat eat it. Goat love it. Goat get dizzy and fall over. Goat never know when enough is enough. Not same as poppy stem even song, but we'll do for now. Make wine more special again. Thank you, madam. I'll... Mix right amount next time. Not too little or no spice and not too big or everyone go sleep. And if everyone sleep, you sleep. You sleep long sleep. Final sleep. <laughs> um, oh, right. God, yes, yes, I... Thank you, my lady, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> what are you doing, Azadi? Hmm? Come out of shadow. Let me see you. The creature clearly harbors a lot of animosity towards my people. Perhaps that's understandable. But if she only sees me as the enemy, it'll be impossible to come to terms. Maybe she wasn't informed of my visit. Maybe she has no idea I'm with the Resistance and believes that I represent the Azadi. No, she probably knows. She must know who I am and why I'm here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to assume. We need your help. You need something, I need something, everyone needs something. Let me tell you how my operation work. You do something for me, I do something back. His only way is never first, never, never first. Because I am the mole. So sing your song, let me know what you need, and then hear what I need. Come on, come on. I'm asking for help to fight the Azadi. Wouldn't that count as doing for you? But you are Azadi. I am. An apostle? I was. Mech. I'm not like human. Azadi, they are worst of lot. How I know Azadi not playing me. How I know you not playing me. Goddess, save us all. I am Kian Alvani. I was the apostle, but now I'm a rebel. I'm here to make my people leave the Northlands and return to Azadir, and to ensure our so-called leaders stand trial for their crimes. 
I don't know. Smell like trap. But let us pretend you speak truth. What you want with the mole? I was told you could help us with weapons and supplies. Maybe the mole can help with weapon, maybe she cannot. But before this question answered, you help me with something. Scratch back. Scratch? It's just saying. Not want your oversized hand all over back. Favour for me. Favour for you in turn. What do you need? Need to intercept runner. Messenger who pass word between guard station in city. There is letter I need. You help Mole do this, Mole will consider your problem. I can do that. Good for you, Apostle no more. One condition. This runner. You will not hurt him. I will not. Why not? They use young men for runners. Boys. They have fought no battles. Killed no rebels or magicals. They don't deserve to die. They are still enemy. I need your promise. I promise, I promise. No one hurt your little runner. My man there will mark place on map where runner pass. From there you find place to take message from runner with no guard watching. Remember, no one must see. Very important this. You take letter from runner, we get letter from you. Everyone goes separate way, everyone happy. When job done, talk to the mole again. The mole will be ready to talk business. There's much to do before the night is over. I wonder what sort of magical this one is. I've heard soldiers returning from the northern forests talk about the mole people who burrow into the mud. I am very curious. I feel like she's probably not going to want to answer because she seems like somebody who's very straight to business, doesn't care about... Uh, small talk or anything like that, but let's try it. What are you? What I am, he asked. What I am? I am the mole. That's not the name of your species. My species, he say. The Azadi, always so tactful, always so sensitive. In my tongue, that name be Banda Banda. It mean tiny folk who sing to earth and shape it. Or something like this. This fancy way of saying we live in muck, know many song and dig deep tunnel. So we are mole, deep dweller, digger, mole with fancy name who speak and sing and also magic. Except a Zardi come and put fire and smoke in Banda tunnel. And when Banda come out, a Zardi slaughter every one of us. Man, woman, child, infant, no mole spared, except me. Except old woman, left me for dead. I am last of species, Azadi. Last of people, last of banda banta, last of mole. I am the mole. And now you go and come back only when finished. Go. Shoot! Leave! You know door. Easy to find. Still open. The last Banda Banta. Damn it, that's a shame. Alright, so the place where I need to intercept the message is marked on my map. Do I actually know how to access my inventory? I don't. That's the menu. I don't remember how to access the inventory. Oh well, it's okay. Because I think I should end this episode here anyway. So yeah, so far this is really good. This is a, a very strong start to the episode. Just wonderful. God, such good writing and amazing voice acting. Really, just across every single person who's done any voice acting at all so far. Everybody has been excellent. So, yeah, I can't wait to get more into it. And also, why are there so many rats here? What, what are they doing? They're like having a little circus or something, running in circles. I wonder if I can study their patterns and perhaps 
tell the future from it, like reading tea leaves? Reading the patterns of, of rat scatterings? Scatterings? Rat movement, rather. And look at their little tails go. I could sit here for hours looking at these rats. Hmm. Anyway. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.